Have you heard about the Atlanta laundry worker strike? On July 19th, 1881, black women domestic workers in Atlanta known as washerwomen went on strike to demand better pay for their labor. During the post-reconstruction era in the South, job opportunities for black women were slim. In Atlanta, most would end up employed by white households as cooks, servants, maids, or washerwomen. Washerwomen had very difficult jobs. They had to haul water for long distances, make their own soap, and scrub clothes endlessly on top of maintaining their own households. For all of their intense labor, Wages for washerwomen were as low as $4 per month. In today's dollars, that's less than $30 a week. So in the summer of 1881, 20 washerwomen decided that they were going to take a stand. They formed the Washing Society of Atlanta and went on strike starting July 19th. They knocked on the doors of fellow workers to recruit them into the society and held rallies every single night with rousing speeches and tips about workers' rights. With this grassroots organizing, they grew from their original 20 founders to a membership of over 3,000 in less than a month. The strike quickly frustrated the rich white families who didn't want to do their own laundry. They grew sick of wearing smelly clothes and dealing with half-washed, sopping wet piles of laundry that workers would leave at their houses when joining the strike. It only took one week of striking before some white customers started ceding to workers' demands. The state cracked down on the organizing workers, arresting six and imposing heavy fines. Still, the Washing Society stood strong and ultimately managed to win over their demands. This was a remarkable milestone in the legacy of organizing for black women and service workers in the South who, to this day, continue the fight for better wages and a seat at the table.